Hey guys, my name is Serge from Discovering Destinations. And today we just picked up our new wheels in Lisbon, courtesy of Auto Europe, which we highly recommend <laughs> using for your next European road trip. You'll find our link in the description below. We're now headed to Fatima for a self-guided day trip visit. Stick around as we show you around the famous sanctuary. But first, here's a quick intro of what's to come. I'm Serge from Discovering Destinations, and right now we're in Fatima. We're actually at the sanctuary of Nossa Senhora de Fatima. And uh, we're gonna show you around. It's a really cool place. It has a really positive energy. So I hope you guys like it. Let's go check it out. We left Lisbon in a bit of a hurry and plugged in Fatima City in the GPS instead of the Fatima Sanctuary. We thought we could easily find it when we arrived in the city. So a drive that should have taken us an hour and a half became more like two hours. Eh, no big deal. In addition to this video, we invite you to check our blog at discoveringdestinations.com for more tips and details on the Fatima Sanctuary. You might have already heard of the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima. There's actually a beautiful story of the Virgin Mary who appeared for three children back in 1917. And actually, Leah is the reason we're here today. For instance, as a child, she used to watch the movie of Our Lady of Fatima. And she also remembers when her Portuguese neighbors brought her mother an image from their visit to the sanctuary. Regardless if you're religious or not, there is much to appreciate here at the sanctuary. For starters, the peaceful setting and the decorations inside the main church. We understand this video may not do justice to the immaculate architecture and sanctuary structure, both inside and out. Now let us show you a few things you can do around the sanctuary. There's a strip mall and shopping center roughly 10 minutes from the sanctuary, where you'll find a variety of gifts. And in case you were wondering where to eat, there are many restaurants around. And we opted for a per kilo buffet style with a great selection of Portuguese food.
You can also purchase a candle and dedicate it for a loved one. Find out why there are so many types of candles in our blog. First, you need to select your candle. And although there's no one there to collect money, you'll just need to leave the amount in the receptacle. There's also a guided museum tour. During the tour, you can see many objects offered by those who previously visited. The offerings come from visitors in search for a miracle and from those who already received one in the name of Lady Fatima. We unfortunately missed a guided tour and we're running behind on our next destination. So this was the end of our self-guided tour in Fatima. We hope you liked our short video of the Fatima Sanctuary and hopefully you can now better plan for your next visit. As usual, we have a crazy itinerary planned for our Portugal trip, which is why we opted to rent a car this time. And although there are no train stations in Fatima, you could plan a guided tour from Lisbon. We highly recommend Get Your Guide. The link is also in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching our Fatima Sanctuary video and feel free to reach out if you have any questions or comments on the sanctuary or any other place in Portugal. As mentioned earlier, we also have a Fatima blog for more detailed information. If you liked this video, show us some love and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way you can continue discovering the rest of Portugal with us. All right guys, catch you next time.